Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews. And today I've got another episode of What's New. And What's New is over at Carl's Jr's and they have a sandwich, it's called the Big Carl. And they have put out a new edition of it. It is the really Big Carl. <laughs> it has, basically it's the same thing as the, like the Big Mac. It's got the lettuce and the cheese and the, the, the sauce on it and two patties and the really big Carl has a third patty, so there's three patties on here. And it was $7.49 normally for the really big Carl just by itself. But I want to give a shout out to my local Carl's Juniors because they were like really great. They were really cool. They had a um, problem with their ATM machine. It wasn't, uh, wasn't working right. And they actually comped my order. So they gave it to me for free. So wanted to thank them for doing that. And, you know, I guess it uh, pays to have a little bit of patience also when you go inside and, uh, you know, you're waiting and then it took a little while and the thing wasn't working. But anyways, I wanted to give them a shout out and thank you very much for giving me the free Big Carl to give a uh, try for you guys out there. So here we go. This is what you get when you get the really Big Carl. It's three patties. All right, go take it out of its uh, wrapper. And you know, like they say, if it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. Well, there's Big Carl. All right, see, there you go. Lettuce on the bottom, three patties, the cheese. It's got the patties, the cheese, the meat. It also has that, uh, like the Thousand Island dressing or whatever, Big Carl sauce. I don't know, you can see that all there. Around the 360 degree view of that, three patties of meat, three pat, three slices of cheese, and lettuce. And there's no tomatoes, there's no onions on this one in particular. So here we go. I'm gonna give this one a try. I'm trying to get set up here so it's not so messy. But here you go. The big, really big Carl. And it is really big. So here we go, guys. All right, first bite. As you can see, that's three patties of meat. Also the cheese, the sauce that's on there. Also the lettuce um, is pretty good. Uh, normally I don't like tomatoes on my sandwich anyways, and this doesn't spoil them. So here we go, another, another big bite. I'll give this one a try. Definitely lots of meat on this one. Okay guys, wow. What I'm mostly tasting is the meat, that charboiled meat. Mm. Nice and flavorful. It's got that sauce that's on there as well. And the cheese is melted nicely. It is definitely a lot of meat on this one. So if you like a really big sandwich with a really lot of meat, going down to Carl's Jr's and give it a try uh, one more time get a little bit of that everything mm. Mm. all right there you guys go wow it's three patties of meat I know they had their western bacon and the triple western bacon certainly a lot of meat on that the sauce is good, just the right amount. It's not too messy. It doesn't overpower it. Mostly what you're tasting with this one is the meat. So for that one, the really big Carl, it's a really good sandwich. And I'll have to give it a really big nine out of 11. It's good, it's no frills, there's not any, um, you know, toppings, I would like a little bit more than just the sauce. Maybe I'd like a little bit of a, I don't know, pickles would be good on here, jalapenos, something else to kind of set it off. I mean, this is mostly supposed to be along the lines of the Big Mac and definitely the, the meat quality is, is an upgrade from the Big Mac, you know, the, the regular. McDonald's patties are kind of, you know, 
they're not up to the same standard as the quarter pound patties, the fresh ones. And certainly these are nice and fresh and they are charbroiled. That's a big difference. Charbroiling makes a big difference on items when you do a burger, you know, as opposed to fried. These are a lot more tastier, have a lot more flavor along the lines of a Burger King. Uh, this might, kind of does remind me of the, the triple stack. Um, that one in there, the, it does kind of remind me of the Triple King XL that uh, Burger King had a little while back. It's kind of along the same lines, but there are no onions on this one. So it's a little bit different. So it's their take on the classic burger, but it's really good. Uh, I would get it again. Like I said, 749 is a little bit much for just a burger, but then again, you know, Carl's Jr.'s premium burgers, especially when you go for the triple, they do they run, do run quite a bit. They've also got the Beyond Meat if you wanted to go that way. I think you can do a Beyond Meat version of this, but I believe it's a dollar upcharge per patty. So it'd be like $3 extra if you wanted to go that route. So if you have a Carl's Jr.'s and you want to try a really big sandwich and a really big Carl, go on, give them a, uh, give them a try. And again, I'd like to shout out to my local Carl's Juniors for offering to, you know, give me the burger for free when they were having trouble with their, you know, machine and all that. So they're really good. And, and like I said, they're right by my house. So they're really, it's really convenient. And I've always got, um, I've always got pretty good uh, service from them. So, you know, can't go wrong at Carl's Juniors. So anyways, that's my take on the really big Carl. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell right over there. That way you won't miss any future content or when I go live, you won't miss the fun. So until next time on Drew's Food Reviews, when I will be trying something new and really big for you guys <laughs> like this, I'm going to finish this one off and then I'm going to head home. So until next time on Drew's Food Reviews, I will talk to you guys later.